in this tutorial, I'm going to cover one of my favorite effects, the spirals effect within X lights. And here you can see the icon. I'm going to drop it onto a mega tree. And you can clearly see how it got its name because it's an effect that looks like it's spiraling, or spiraling around your prop. So let's look at the color options. You can select multiple colors and then you'll get an extra spiral for each color. It also supports the gradient, the color curves. So if we select that one, I've got these colors here. So now that particular color is going to transition over time because of this clock here, or it can be a gradient going from left to right, top to bottom, etc. Well, let me just select two colors first and let's look at the options of the effect itself. So the first one is palette repeat. So you can see at the moment it's going red, white, red, white. If I increase the palette repeat, you can see it increases the density and repeats that palette multiple times. Spiral wraps is the amount of times it wraps around the prop. So if we move it down, you can see it's wrapping around a smaller number and you can actually go to a negative effect, in which case now the spiral starts to spiral the other way. Thickness is the thickness of the wrap itself. So there you can see this is a fantastic effect for putting on something like a candy cane. Does it give you that barber's pole type effect? Movement is the speed, you know, the amount of cycles it will accomplish over the time. So we can have fast down to slow and into minus figures we go to reverse. Then we have the option of blend and now you can see that the colors blend into each other. Not much use when you've just got two colors, but uh, you can see effectively all this does is in this case is create a gradient. However, if we do 3D, you can see now it makes the colors look like they're in three dimensions to a certain degree. Grow, you can see there that the, rather than just spiraling around, you see that the effect starts to grow as well as it rotates around. And then we've got the reverse where you see like shrinking effect as well. So, this is the spiral effect. So until next time, see you later.